Oh, but first tonight, uh, something that definitely isn't appetizing, something that's maybe right out of a horror movie in yeah. the middle of Tampa. Yeah, we know it is dinner time, but uh, near the corner of Florida and Hillsborough Avenue, a colony of rats has taken over, and yeah. this is uh, 10 Tampa Bay at 6. I'm Dave Wagner. And I'm Courtney Robinson in for Carolina. Yeah, this is in an area where, I mean, you can see them right here scurrying mm -hmm. in and out of these holes. This is where people wait for the buses, this is where neighbors walk their kids, and people struggling with homelessness often uh, camp out here. 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser is live at that corner this evening. And, Eric, some folks there tell you, you know, this has been going on for months now. Yep, exactly right, Courtney. Months. In fact, let me show you what's taking place over the course of that time. Look at that in the middle there. It's like a pyramid-shaped mountain, this colony that's been built behind a bus stop right along Hillsborough Avenue. Not only that dome, but a network of tunnels that would make your skin crawl. So I'm from New York. Okay. I'm native New Yorker. As a New Yorker, Sarita Walcott says she's always expected to see rats in the subway system, but was horrified to be sitting at a Tampa bus stop just feet away from this rat's nest. So massive, locals have given it nicknames like Rattopia and Ratlantis. That was the thing in New York, in the subway, okay? Um, but they didn't expect it for down here, no. Folks who wait for the number 34 bus at the corner of Florida and Hillsborough Avenues say it's been going on for close to a year. It's gross, it's disgusting. Michael Edwards says it makes his skin crawl. He catches the bus before the sun comes up every morning when the rats are more active. They're jumping in and out the um, trash can and running back inside, climbing up trees. They all over in the bus stop area. You got to stump them away sometimes and um, it could get kind of aggravating. Ricky Richardson cleans bus stops for the company that does the advertising. He's seen the vermin here, too. The infestation come from the home where people sleep in, leaving food, and so that's why we try and keep it clean as much as we can. It's a public health hazard, and um, it, it's a bad look for Seminole Heights. It's a very bad look for Seminole Heights. Andrea Cauley owns the nearby Seminole Heights General Store and Restaurant. She says so far they've been able to keep the rats out, but she's concerned since rats can carry disease. The green space, she says, is owned and maintained by FDOT, which sent someone out to address the issue a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, let's handle it and get rid of them so it doesn't spread, because they do. That's obviously what they do. And you can see some of them still scurrying around. As the sun goes down, we're told they will be out here in force, in numbers. So why? Why? Has this been able to go on for so long at this point without anybody doing anything about it? Well, I reached out today first to the city of Tampa's code enforcement. They put me in contact with FDOT, which owns and operates this area here along Hillsborough Avenue. FDOT told me that they had had somebody come out, took a look at the area, sent it back over to Hillsborough County Animal Control, who then told me we only take care of dogs and cats, not rats. That would be code enforcement at the city of Tampa. The city of Tampa told me it's FDOT's issue. FDOT sent me paperwork, said, as per our agreement with the city of Tampa, this area is supposed to be maintained by them. Bottom line, when and if code enforcement eventually gets out here, it may be that they turn around and point at themselves and say, we're the ones, city of Tampa, that have to clean this up. Why hasn't it gotten started yet? They say nobody had filed a complaint. We did it for them. Filed a complaint today with the city's code enforcement We'll see how long it takes for somebody to get out here and clean this up. Reporting live in Tampa, Eric Glasser, 10 Tampa Bay. All right, Eric on Rat.